Okay guys, uh, we are currently in Corinth and our plan was to sail for two months in Greece but finally yeah, plans changed and uh, we're gonna stay one more month so what we're gonna need to do today is we need to pay the, the new e tepai it's the cruising tax and I'm gonna show you step by step how that works it's pretty easy so you can do it on yourself just needs a bit of patience okay so first you go on the website uh, www.aade.gr uh, for Greece and slash e d pi okay so that can brings you to this website that is mostly in Greek but uh, then you go here into the login and now here what you're gonna have is a button to change the whole process into English which makes much more easy okay so uh, the next step is you need to register yourself so first name last name mother's name father's name email even it's optional so you don't need to put it verify email and you need to put the password and what is very important here is passport or identification number because that number you're going to need afterwards to log in so just make sure you know which number you used register okay and then says that you're going to get the link you're going to receive a link to your email account okay so I'm gonna look how long that, that, that takes it's really unbelievable but it took three hours after the registration to get the link that I send you by email to log in and to go on with uh, with the whole process so uh, yeah just give it a try and look if it works my login and everything is set up so uh, let's see if it works so login okay now I need to add the document number this is the number from the passport or from your id that you choose so look if it works is three okay okay here we are now okay so i go here now to a new application on the right side on the top of it okay form number type of ship okay uh, professional recreational professional daily cruise ships private recreational ships yeah, I guess it's that one no select yes if you have received the fine in this case an additional code corresponding ah no okay <coughs> no I'm a number no ship number ba, 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 no ship's name hard rock hard rock then the flag is Netherlands okay Netherlands register number this is uh, something I need to check because it's the register number okay it's N O N O one oh nine slash seven two six eight B G BG199 okay <coughs> total length 14.7 international call sign Okay, so uh, then the MMSI number is 
four five huh two four four zero one three five four five that's mooring place in Greece no mooring place in Greece no type of hull mm, whatever that is number of hull blah 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 <coughs> okay so I guess Okay, required, required if Greece tax. I don't have this Greek tax identification number. One of the two fields combined with another field with four stars. Okay, three stars. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, liable type of liable person. So I'm gonna add here a ship owner. That's me. Company. It's person. Name that Oliver. Okay, then by info so now we're gonna choose the date when we need it so the length is 14.97 that is correct that's very important for the, the calculation afterwards date of entry into Greece territorial waters before now date of entry <coughs> okay we enter first of October no payment period 2019 payment period Payment period, so I think no, I'm not sure here. Guess like this is it just for October, no? So okay. Uh, select all payment period month okay yeah select all will be all the year but we just need it for October so we just activate the October and the payment period yeah at 19 we should be running Greece the whole year no we're gonna leave Greece and sail over to Italy so date of entry that's perfect okay so that's it okay so just let me check again so we start at the top we don't have an email number we, the name is okay the place the port of registry is right the registry number is right the small vessel registry book number i don't have this total length is correct international call sign the mmsi everything is fine is my name everything's okay and here just make sure that okay hey no <coughs> date of entry into Greece are the waters so will the ship remain in Greece port for the whole year no November 19 and then we just select October now if 3rd September so that's fine okay and then temporary submit so now we're gonna see what happened <whistles> temporary stored okay okay make sure to to copy that number for whatever happens can verify again if everything is okay they they give me here or they gave me this application number so I just made a copy of it whatever happens you can continue with final submission or press cancel to modify your request final submission so you're gonna see where where that is final submission so we activate October that is correct Okay, payment info. <coughs> oh, that's new now. Okay, month. Number of selected payment. Month one. Month. <coughs> no, no, no discounts. Fee, fee amount per month is 119.76 euros. Fee amount, discount amount zero, zero, zero. So payment amount 119 euros and 76 cents for month of October. That sounds good again submit okay your request submitted successfully blah 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 and now what I have to do is the big question okay payment number okay that's the very important number so like always I'm just gonna make a photocopy I'm just gonna put it here whatever happens be... okay and then payment number fine okay so and then I think like this 
you can download okay just gonna open that file okay so however is in Greek but it looks like that's the document that I can use to make my payment in the bank because it has this number this reference number on it so okay I guess that's it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna print out that file and uh, they said as well that I'm gonna get an email so with two more documents so let's have a look if that takes another five hours to get the documents hey okay, here we go now uh, and you just need to print out the documents and then I go to the bank and we will see if everything works It's really crazy it took me like two hours to make the payments not because it's complicated but just it was so crowded in the bank and the the system is very slowly. So, uh, I'm gonna show you the document. Document that you get after the registration that they send you is this print definitive application form of ETPI. So, that one you need to print out. And then you, they send you another one, and with another one you can make the payment. Is this one here? Is everything in Greek? So, uh, and here at the bottom, I guess, are the the details: the amount, one hundred nineteen seventy-six, and the reference number is that one here. This reference number two nine nine five is the same reg the, the, the registration number. And when you go on the bank, they just you make the transfer, so you pay another one fifty commission and uh, for me it was 121.26 cents and uh, they put you the receipt here on it so I guess that's it we're ready to cruise another month in Greece